Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about job opportunities, specifically job opportunities if you are someone who's considering going to a coding bootcamp versus someone who is considering going to computer science. First of all, I want to say that there is no one way or one specific path. Everyone can get to where they want to be through different kind of paths and different experiences. So let's start off with that. Before we go any further though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Always, I wanna give a big shout out to these users here who ask awesome questions. Thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a comment down below of other kind of tech or coding, any of the above related videos that you want to see from me because all the videos I make are based on what you suggest to me. Okay, let's get started. I've been seeing lately a lot of videos come up on my YouTube feed of this topic, job opportunities from coding boot camps versus computer science degrees. And the reason, one of the reasons why I thought this was such a great topic to talk about is because I don't necessarily agree with a lot of them. A lot of them are saying, if you do one, you can go this kind of career path. If you do another, it's going to be completely different. And from my experience as someone who has gone to a coding boot camp, I can tell you I work with people who both have computer science degrees, who have gone to boot camps, who have self-taught, and hey, we're all working in the same place, same job title, same role. So I'm going to dissect this a little bit more. Okay, one of the things I really want to highlight here is you can't compare apples to oranges. And what I mean by that is a lot of times, let's talk about coding boot camps. A lot of times when someone is going to a boot camp, it's for a very specific reason. It's for web development, it is for data science, it's for UX, UI design. It's for a very specific reason. And out of the boot camp, their main goal typically is to get a job. Whereas if you are someone who is going to school for computer science, on the other hand, there are many different roles within that world that you can get. It's not limited to web developer, data scientist, or UI UX. There's tons of different ones. So I think one of the main things that we really need to highlight is that going to a bootcamp versus going to computer science, uh, the computer science route, are going to be two whole different experiences. And a lot of times, when you're starting out your path in computer science, you might not even know what you want to uh, do at the end of your degree. A lot of times people, or I've spoken to people who have a few different options of what they're interested in. Whereas someone who is going to a coding bootcamp, they know what their end goal is. They know what they want to do. They're there for a reason. And that is to get a job within that specific industry. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I just wanted to be clear because I, I see way too many videos of this topic generalizing both. And I think that's totally not fair because the goals for both can be typically very different. Okay, but for this video, you want to see what job opportunities there are for someone who is, say, going to a coding bootcamp versus computer science and say they have the end goal of getting a web developer job. Who's going to get it? I'm going to tell you this straight up with full confidence. It's not going to matter if you have a degree in computer science or not. If you are applying for, say, a web developer role, a software developer role, if you are someone who either went to a coding bootcamp or has a computer science degree, good companies, not all companies, but good companies won't choose you based on that you have a very specific degree versus what skills you can actually show. And what I mean by this is say, say Tom over here gets a coding bootcamp uh, certification. He is skilled in web development. He is on his second career. He has a degree in something completely different and he is looking for a job. And then we have say Sally over here and she is fresh out of university with her computer science degree and they are both applying for an entry level developer role. Although John has tons of more work experience, he is applying for the same role as Sally. Sue? Sally? I don't know who I said her name was. Let's go with Sally. Um, though they're playing for the same role, this is because he is switching industries completely. So he's starting from intro and working his way up. And then Sally over here is as well, starting from intro and working her way up. When they are competing for this one job position, it's going to come down to not if they have a fancy degree or if they went to a specific um, school, anything like that. What it will come down to is show me your skills. What can you do? What can you write on this whiteboard? What can you solve? How do you solve this take home test? It's not going to be based on, oh, well, they have a really fancy degree. 
And you know, I'm not saying all companies, but I'm saying good companies will not base on that. They will base on the skills that this individual has, their work ethic, their personality, their, and when I say personality, I mean that they want to be there. They want to continue to learn. Okay, let's kind of go back to talking a little bit about what is the end goal for schools though when it's say a boot camp versus a university for their students? Well, it's very clear when someone is attending a boot camp, their end goal is to get that person a job and to get them a job fast in the field that they went to the boot camp for. Computer science degrees or the teachers at computer science, their end goal might not necessarily, obviously one goal is to get this individual a job, but also give this person a four year opportunity to really develop a very strong understanding of computer systems and so much more. So you really need to think about what basically the end goal as well of the teachers at the schools, what their end goals are for you, and that will kind of differentiate based on boot camp versus university. I want to stop right here though and say, as someone who did go to university, I found it such a valuable experience, not necessarily because I did anything in the field I studied, I studied graphic communications management, but more so about the soft skills I learned through that, especially time management, the friends I made, the network I built, those are all huge things that I learned at university. And one can definitely argue you can learn that at a boot camp too. And I learned more of that. I learned and I learned more of that and built on those skills as well at a boot camp. So I just want to be clear though that I'm actually really neutral as if someone wants to do a boot camp or university because I had such a positive experience at both. But I do have to say that when I graduated university, it was not like someone's there to kind of really push you and hold your hand in getting your first job, but with a boot camp, they are. They are there by your side. They want you to get a job because that will affect their statistics, their rates of how many people at the end of the day get a job. Okay, so if you are someone who's watching this and you are saying, well, what should I do? Should I do a CS degree or coding boot camp? Here are some questions I want you to answer. The first being, what is your time like? Do you feel like you have three to four years, three to five years essentially for a computer science degree, that's step one. The second question I want you to ask yourself is how much money can you put into this learning? Can you put in say X amount for a computer science degree, which is essentially way more than a coding bootcamp, or do you have a budget that you need to put towards a coding bootcamp? And I'm not saying some people don't even have a budget for a coding bootcamp and that's fine too. I'm just talking about the two alternatives. So the third question I would ask myself is, what is your end goal? And I know obviously the end goal for both parties are to get a job, but more so what is your timeline like? And that will also depict because if you need a job ASAP, obviously you can't go back to school for four years for computer science. But if you, you know, have say four years to, to complete a degree and then another year to kind of look around intern and find other opportunities, then that's great, but if you are someone who has a family or needs to provide for other people or maybe just doesn't don't have doesn't doesn't have the time or ability to commit to a four year degree, I really think boot camps are a great way to go. That being said, side note here, boot camps completely vary. So not only when I say I, I really had a great experience at a coding boot camp and that I think they are amazing it varies on which one you attend. So let's be extremely clear on that because there are some incredible um, and well-prepared boot camps out there that will really boost your career to the next level. Then of course, just like anything, there's going to be the opposite. So make sure to do your due diligence and look into uh, boot camps. I really found it helpful calling them, going to check out the um, school at that time. It was before everything was virtual, but just kind of getting in touch with them and engaging with them. Okay, so now that I've spoken about the immediate job opportunities, which to recap on that are essentially the same as long as you have the same end goal. Like I said, boot camps have a very specific end goal, whether it's web developer, um, UI UX, uh, what else should we say? We said data science. And so when you come out of that, you are looking for a very specific job opportunity. Whereas a CS degree, there is that plus so much more. So if the two people though are looking for the same level of job, same web developer, same level of job, there is no better or worse opportunities. You will have the same opportunities. Actually, it was all the big companies, all the big fan companies took out that 
a computer science degree was required uh, for your interview process and to apply. So I'm not talking here, let's be clear, I'm also not talking here about your skill set that you develop from one to the other. I'm talking purely about if the skill set level is the same, that in web development, for example, that a CS degree for a good company should not be considered. I really think it will be based on your skill set and who you are as a person. Okay, so say you get the job though, and you are thinking about your career for 10, 20 years down the road, and you want to be a big VP of a company, you want to have these fancy titles, does a computer science degree then matter? And the answer to that is, yeah, I don't think so. And the reason for that is because it's still going to be based on experience. Granted, a lot of companies prefer if you have a master's or at least a degree if you are someone who's looking to get a very fancy title, not all companies, but some. And so that's something to keep in mind, but it's one of those things that there are so many amazing certifications online now that even if you end up going the bootcamp way, get your job, gain some experience, you can always continue to up level and upskill. Especially nowadays, the tech industry is moving so quickly that no matter where you came, what form of education you came from, you're going to continue to need to level up. Okay, to summarize this video, I think it's really important to once again highlight that this is my experience. I'm someone who did get a degree, it wasn't in computer science, and then discovered coding at a later time in my life where I definitely could not go back to school for a computer science degree. I just finished one degree, I was not going to commit another four years of my life. So coding bootcamp was a perfect place for me to go to. And I did my due diligence, I did my research, found a great one, and went that path. Also, a side note, if you're looking for a coding bootcamp, let me know in the comments or send me an email. I will, I'm happy to chat about it one-on-one -on -one as well, as I think this is a huge decision. So anything I can do to help, I will help you. Uh, but going back to that, the job opportunities for me, I found after my coding bootcamp were just as wonderful as, actually there were some computer science people in my coding bootcamp because they were looking to build a portfolio. And I, um, I had the same, a very similar experience job hunting as they did and they had a coding um, or sorry, a computer science background. So I think if you are, the job opportunity you are looking for is very specific as to what role it is, then a coding bootcamp, you're going to have the same opportunities as someone with a computer science degree. Obviously, if you go to a coding bootcamp for web development and then you want to get your first role as a data scientist, that is not going to present itself the same way no opportunities or very few are going to come your way. So you need to keep in mind what your end goal is and what job opportunities you are hoping for. I'm really interested though to hear your thoughts on this topic. Are you super pro one way and con the other or are you pretty neutral about it like I am and think education is education and it's just great to be forever learning. I want to know your thoughts, your feedback. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know other videos you want to see from me. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos and any topics you want me to cover. And uh, I think I covered it up. I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.